Today I'm going to show you how to combine images inside Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to show you a few different things combining images. I'm going to show you multiple techniques to get those images into Photoshop and get them into different layers on top of each other. And then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of how to combine those images into a composite using selections and another way without selections. So let's get started right now. So I've heard from some people they want to know how to get these images here from scratch. So we're just going to choose File, Open. And why don't we open these two images? So I'm just going to select the two images. Notice I marquee selected around those two and let's click open. All right, so we get them in two different documents. Now I'm going to show you how to combine them into one document. If you go up to the tabs here, you'll see that we have one image and then we have a second image. So I'm going to grab this image here, make sure we've got the move tool selected click and hold and now we're going to drag it into the tab of the second image don't let go yet that's the key and then let's just move notice the cursor right now is black that means that it's loaded with something so we're going to hold down the shift key and this will drop it in the center now release and now we've got both of these images in separate layers in a moment i'll show you how to merge these but first of all i want to show you another way to bring them in. So let's choose file and this time we're going to go down to scripts and under scripts we can automate some different process. Let's choose load files into stack. So this dialog box is going to open we're going to choose browse. This will take us back to our browser and right now we're just looking on our hard drive and let's select these two images. So we're going to click open and then just click OK. And notice that this method loaded both the images onto layers automatically, whereas the first method just opened them. All right, let's, I'm just going to close these out. Just right click and we choose close all. And I'm going to show you another way to do it. So why don't we just choose file open. And we're going to open these two images. Alright, so now we've got two images open and I want to combine them. So what you want to do is choose the base, which is going to be the building, and I want to have this one on top. So rather than dragging, we can choose File, Scripts, and then under Scripts, let's go back to where we were before, Load Files into Stack, and this time choose Add Open Files. And notice that we have these files open right now because you can see their tabs and if we just click OK it's going to create a third document where it's going to combine these for us automatically. Excellent. And in a second we'll look at merging these. But I'm going to do something else. Let's open two more images because I know I, I want to combine these two. So let's open them right now. And I'm going to show you another method. With all these windows open what we can do is we can choose Window, Arrange, and let's do a 4-up. So what this does is it opens these inside different panes. And I know I want to combine this image with that one. So I'm just going to click, drag, hold down the Shift key and release, and now we've combined those. Now, if you just want to go back to tabs, it's quite easy. All you need to do is just choose Window, Arrange, Consolidate all to tabs. And now we're back to tabs. So now that we have these images on layers, I'm going to show you how to blend these layers together two different ways. And by the way, if you like this, hit that like button right now. That's the thumbs up. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. So let's do this one first where we're going to do selections and then we're going to do another technique on the other image where we're not going to use any selections. So let's hide this layer and we can see this top one is a little bit bigger. So why don't we resize it? Control T, that would be Command T for free transform. 
And if you just option scroll, we can see we can get those handles visible. Now let's just resize this down to about the size that we want it to fit. And I want to position it about here. So we want our woman looking out over into the city. So let's just hit the enter key. Now, how do we get rid of this transparency? Simple. Choose image, trim, and select transparent pixels. And now we're trimmed down to just what we want. All right, so what we want to do now is we just want to hide this area so we can see our person. So with our layer selected, let's go and grab the quick selection tool. With the quick selection tool, just drag around. And let's just clean up that selection a little bit. Hold the Alt or the Option key. All right, and to hide this area, we just want to show the non-selected area right there. So we're going to hold down the Alt or the Option key and see the layer mask. Just click on that layer mask and that hides the background. All right, let's just blur the background a little bit. Select the background, choose Filter Blur. Give it a little bit of a Gaussian blur. Gives us a little bit of depth. And if you want to clean this up, just select the layer mask. Control L for levels. And we can just drag this in and that'll just get rid of that edge there. And that's the first one. Let's look at the second one. So let's take our person, Control T, Command T for free transform. And we'll just drag it down so we can see that handle and then it's just reposition our person where we want her. Let's put it right there. Hit enter to apply. Notice we have this harsh line. We want to get rid of it. So we're just going to create a layer mask by clicking on layer mask. Grab a brush. Make sure the foreground set to black. Turn this hardness all the way down and make it nice and big. And then all we do is just paint on that edge and it'll create a soft edge. And we can blend it in. If there's some areas here you want to tighten up a little bit, then just hit the left bracket key to make it a little bit smaller. Flip the color to white and just paint in those areas that you want to keep. You can see it's really quite easy to combine images inside of Photoshop. So anyway, I'd love to know if you guys learned anything new from this. Let me know in the comments underneath and also let me know what you'd like to learn in Photoshop. And by the way, if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit that subscribe button, become part of the Cafe crew. You'll get a new tutorial every single week. And if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the Cafe.